So something I'm going to try to start doing for you guys is posting quizlets for you to be able to study. Um, we were doing the visual vocabulary. Some people are studying them, not everyone. And I think that's just because it's not in a format that is easy for you to understand for what you've been doing. So I'm going to try Quizlet and hopefully you're familiar with it. But if you're not, let me take a quick introductory to what it is. Um, it's essentially virtual flashcards that are going to let you study them in different ways. There's, um, well, let me just show you instead of trying to explain it. So when I post them, they're going to look similar to this right here. It's just going to say, like this one right here is for seventh grade class, unit three, Quizlet study. When you see this posted, all you have to do is click this link. Just click on the thing. If you don't actually click the link that will take you to a blank page click the button that opens up and you'll see this right here financial resources provided to make some project possible i hope you could hear that it'll read some of these to you so it says you know click card to see term it'll flip it over you have two sides to these flashcards it's going to take you through all of them some of them may be facing one way, one another, and you flip it over. You can see it. Executive branch. Read it to you. If you have trouble, you don't know what a word is, you can read that. Um, but what this is going to do, you'll be able to mark how well you did, things like that. This is going to keep it so you don't have to create an account through Quizlet. Now, sometimes I may want you to, and if you don't have an account, I would walk you through how to do that at that time. But for now, I think this might be a good option. Now, if you are familiar with Quizlet, you know, like I said, there's other ways to study it. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, it'll say choose a study mode. All right, so there's matching. Make everything disappear. All right, so you are going to match the definition to the word as it goes. So. Okay, let's take a look here. Legislative branch. We click there. All right. Makes loss, and they're gone. So you're going to do that to all of them. That's matching. You try to go for your quickest time. The faster you go through them, it's going to give you different ones every time you do it. Um, there is the learn mode. Answer every term correctly twice to finish. And it's going to give you word and you look for the other option, definition, look for the word. Um, there's, well, we were on the flashcards. There is spell. Type what you hear. Separation of powers. Separation of powers. On test where I may start requiring correct spelling, this is going to help you there. That might be a hint for the future. Pay attention. And then if you want to try to look at it in different methods, you can click test and it'll give you a couple that are fill in the blank, a couple that are going to be matching. You're going to, you know, write the answer that goes along with it and it will eliminate that answer off the side. Multiple choice. This is just true false. This is just going to help you study for the test. Now, when I post these Quizlet sets more than more often than not, my, my test is going to be based off of what I'm giving you because I'm pulling these words and these terms directly from whatever unit that it is that we're covering. So when I post these, these are for you to study. These are for your test. If you see this pop up, this is a hint. These are some of the things that are going to be on your test. I may give them to you early. I may give it to you as a study guide. Uh, we'll use this in different ways. But this is generally how to use it the different tools that are available and how to navigate through it. Um, shouldn't be any questions on this one, um, but if there is, you know you can write me on Schoology.